Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com 203-892-4119 We have another Ameritron AL811H amplifier here in for repair. So I need to repair the plate choke. The windings have come, some of the windings are out of place at the base. I'll re-glue them. I need to take the whole socket assembly out, put the gas discharge tubes in, ground the grids right to the metal, remove the metal oxide variistors from the board in the back, and do the 10 meter modification, needs new SO239 connectors, clean the rotary switches with deoxid gold, and uh, go through the rest of it. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys soon. Actually, not soon, but it'll be soon for you. <laughs> it takes me a while to do all this. So, please like, share, and subscribe in the meantime. Catch you later. I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> so I added the gas discharge tubes, compressed the socket clips. Just have to solder this one connection. I already soldered the other filament connection. Added the gas discharge tubes and put in the longer screw for the plate choke and repaired the plate choke. I'm going to get back to work. And also removed the metal oxide variester. And I still have to remove that gas discharge tube. I'll do that real quick. Okay. See you guys soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. Works on all bands. Got the brand new set of Pentalab tubes in there. 572s. New meter protection diode. Saw what I did underneath the sockets, added the gas discharge tubes, and grounded the grids directly to the metal. Changed the SO239 connectors, cleaned the rotary switches with deoxid gold, tightened up on hardware, fixed some solder joints, put the longer screw in the base of the plate choke, and this thing is ready to rock and roll, ready to go back to the customer. So, I also compressed the socket clips and this thing is good. So, if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. More to come. See you soon.